And tonight for our campus spotlight, the Athletic Training Club is coming out by teaching students and athletic teams what they do on a daily basis, but with a creative twist. SUTV's David Cabrera brings us this story tonight. I'm here at the 2013 Athletic Training Olympics. It was sponsored by the Athletic Department and the Health and Science Department. There were eight teams, but the purpose of this event was to teach athletes how to better take care of their bodies. We've done a couple events here, me personally. I did the ice bath event. Uh, I had a pretty good outing, got second, wasn't my best, but I tried hard, I tried hard. I'm here to help out uh, my athletic trainer, Dan. He helped us out all season long, so I was just you know, repaying the favor. Um, right now they're doing the ice buckets, and unfortunately we lost the first round, but it's okay. <laughs> so it's very nice outside, lovely day, and i um, trying to appreciate our athletic trainers for all they do. <laughs> Basically the six members of the club in my class, we all got together and we started discussing the idea of how we can make the club more fun and well-known around campus and you know put, put athletic training out on the map so we're not getting confused with personal trainers anymore um, and just so happened that Athletic Training Month was March so we thought this would be a good way to celebrate it. We wanted to learn a little bit too because we know they work on us every day so we figured we would come out and see what, they, what it's all about. I, we've learned more as athletes is what they do. They're not just water boys but they're it definitely has shown us that they do more than what we just think. From rolling up ankles to making ice bags, the athletes got to experience what the athletic training department does for them time and time again. This is David Cabrera for SUTV News.